you wouldn't want that treatment yourself. So to treat another being in a way that you wouldn't want to be treated is a double standard. You do have to draw a line between humans and animals. Yeah. I think there is there, there is a, Okay, there might be some there. differences, but what have we got in common? Um, we all want to live. Live a life without suffering or enslavement. You're trying to make animal suffering seem the same as human suffering. In well, what about a dog? I would still wouldn't say a dog's the same as a human. But you would say that they deserve a life without suffering, without slavery, yeah? But still, if I choose between a dog and a human, I would always choose... We don't have to. We, all we have to do is choose between plants and animals. Think about it from your dog's perspective. If someone was reading them by the billions, putting them in trucks and sending them to a slaughterhouse, that would make you feel what? I don't see it as that big an issue, personally. What if it was humans? I don't think you can call farming on an industrial scale the same as rounding up millions of people and killing them. That's not That's not what happens to animals? I'm not Jewish, right? But if I was, I think I'd be quite offended by the fact that you're... I like, never said nothing about Jews, by the way. This is a hypothetical yeah, scenario yeah. to help you see the hypocrisy yeah. and the double standard. 